Now it's time for a brief excursion into inequalities. These don't appear that much on the SAT, uh, but you do need to know them. So just a basic review. This symbol means greater than. So for instance, 5 is greater than 3. This sign means less than, such as 3 is less than 5. Then you have also greater than or equal to with this line under it, or less than or equal to. And that just means not only can it be greater than it, but it can also be less than or equal to it. In this case, not only can it be less than it, but it can also be equal. All right, now, where were you might see this on the SAT? Well, you might see them on inequality equations. So you might get something like this. 2x plus 7 is greater than 14. And you'd have to solve for x or, or some, something like that. I mean, you may not see a direct problem like this where you have to solve for x, but this is the basic idea that they're going to test. So what do you do for these? Well, you basically just treat them like equations. So you can just tr keep this uh, greater than sign where it is, uh, pretend it's an equal sign, and just solve it as normal. So this would just be 2x is greater than 7 when you subtract 7 from both sides. So this would be x is greater than 3 halves. And you can always test this, you know, test different values, make sure your uh, inequality works. One other thing to mention, let's say you had another inequality equation like this, or I guess inequality equation is a little dumb, a little uh, contradictory, but you get the idea. So an, uh, an equation here, like negative 3x less than 3 is less than or equal to, um, let's see, 15. So as I said, we, keep, we treat this like an equal sign, but we add 3 to both sides, we get 3x is negative 3x is less than or equal to 18. The one thing with inequalities is with, with negative signs is if you ever divide both sides or multiply both sides by a negative, you've got to flip the sign. So this actually becomes x is greater than or equal to negative 6. And that will be your answer. And again, you could you know, test out any number of uh, um, solutions to this to make sure this works, but that's pretty much how it is. So the one rule to remember is whenever you are multiplying or dividing by a negative with these equations, you got to flip the sign.